Hey guys, Josie Digger here. I'm um, back out in the woods that I haven't been back out to since winter time. Uh, this is where I found like my real, a bunch of barbers and mercs and uh, a few large scents. Uh, I got my first good signal here. It was ringing in and uh, uh, <laughs> lost my balance there. That would be funny. Uh, 1244, 1144. Um, and it's sitting right in here. I think I have my first silver. First hole. First silver, and it's a barber. Nice. Nice condition, too. 1911. Uh, dirt is real wet on it, so it's easy falling off. Eh, I'll show you a picture of it later on, see if we got a mint mark on it. Great start to the day, though. Hey, guys. Uh, right there is the hole I just dug that uh, 1911 Barber Dime. Getting an 1144 right here. I know you like to hear it, so let's see if we can... Uh, 43, 44, 943, 1244, 1246. Looks like a good target, so let's see if I can do a live dig here for you. See if I can uh, get the camera. To maybe sit. Alright, I'm gonna dig the hole and I'll get right back with you. Alright, guys, it's a good thing I did uh, take the camera away, or this would have been a 20 minute film clip, but I think I finally got it out of the hole here somewhere. You see that? Another barber. Two barber dimes. Great, right, uh, couple inches from each other. 1897. Nice. Second barber of the day and second hole dug. Two silvers already. Things are looking good right here. Uh, obviously I'll rescan the hole one more time here, see if there's still anything else here. Well guys, it just keeps getting better and better in this same hole. I was getting another faint 1145, real scratchy, but just started digging and look what popped out right there. Didn't even touch it yet. Another Barber Dime. Three Barber Dimes out of this same hole. This one's a 1914. This looks like a really good shape one. Oh man, what a hole. Three Barber Dimes all in the same hole. That's a first for me. Wow. And I've been saying I haven't found a Barber Dime in a while, so I guess I can't complain about that anymore. Man, what a good feeling so far. Three coins, three Barber Dimes. Not too shabby. All right, guys, I'm going to keep continuing checking this hole. Hey guys, it's been a little while since I've uh, found anything, probably a little bit over an hour, but I got a 1212 uh, at about six inches. Finally, it wasn't a shotgun shell, and sure enough, it's a uh, buffalo nickel. I haven't found one of these in a while. It's funny, on uh, our uh, Tri-State Hunters Facebook page, I was just commenting that I hadn't found a buffalo nickel in a while. Well, there we go. Cool.
another good coin. Get back with you when I find anything else. Hey guys, I'm getting a 1247, dead on, not moving at all, very high tone. Um, I've located it with the pinpointer. I haven't dug it out yet, but I don't. What I don't get here is quarters. I have yet to ever dig a quarter here. I've dug probably 15 or 20 silver dimes, some buffalo nickels, a real, some large cents. So I'm wondering if this is going to be my first quarter, or maybe it is a uh, another large cent. But it is down in here somewhere. So let's. Oh, I see a silver rim. Is this my first silver quarter from here? Yeah, it is. It's only a Washington, though. I was hoping for something a little older, but... 1942 Washington quarter. I think that's silver number 49 on the year for me. Fourth silver of the day. Definitely take it. That was screaming out 1247. I wasn't too sure on it either because the depth was only about six inches. And here, everything is eight plus, so... I'll take it. Great find. Get back with you if I find anything else. Hey guys, it's going a very scratchy 12, 12, 11, 13. Uh, had to battle this route for it, but haven't pulled it out yet, but... A nickel, but hmm, don't know. Pretty bad shape. Probably another buff. That's all I've found here. Or buffs. Eh, I'll clean it up when I get home and get a shot of it for you.